way, uh, this friend of mine, he was, uh, he was on the CBs, and I was in the Navy, and we uh, wrote back and forth, and, and he uh, seemed like he was always, I was always getting letters from him, so now when you you go to, if you ever get leave and go, go home to Medford, my, go down to the store and, and uh, say hello to my mother. It seemed like I was always getting this, this letter like that. But anyway, the, the war was over and uh, down in, in San Francisco and that was, that was really something. It was on an attack transport and we carried the troops to the invasions of out in the South Pacific. And uh, we were down there and uh, the scatter weather on the ship as we were getting ready to load up another load and uh, invade Japan. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, some buddies of mine, we went on Liberty down to San Francisco, went to the movie. And uh, we come out of it, out of the movie, and we couldn't believe what was going on. All the servicemen were running up and down the street yelling and, and grabbing girls and hugging them and oh, the, it was just crazy. Yeah. And then, I would love to show you this. <clears throat> we heard a news boy yelling. After we read all about it, Japs quit. And so I bought that newspaper, and there it is. Oh my goodness. They kept that all these years. We had to get the date on it. Tuesday, August 14th, 1945. Oh my goodness. The So anyway, I got uh, I got a few days to Liberty and, and uh, got to go home. And uh, you know, when I, I got there, my uh, you know, my buddy was he said be sure to see my mother down at the store. And every day it seemed to be more than my I was about just a couple three days left. And they seemed like they were going to get, get, get down and see my mother. And so I went went down to the store, and I walked in the store, and here this pretty girl come up. And uh, she had blue eyes and dark hair, she was about 5'2", and, and prettiest girl I ever saw her read something about her. And she asked if she could help me and I told her I was looking for uh, Jim's mother and so I went up and visited her. And so I had a, uh, uh, asked, asked her who, who that girl was. She was, that's uh, Beyond Golden. Did you want to meet her? And I said, yeah, I'd sure like to. But I didn't, I didn't meet her at the time. But anyway, she, she told me this later. I was up visiting her upstairs, the, the uh, mother upstairs, and uh, Mary Ellen was, was with another girl and they were sizing dresses down there, and, and this uh, <laughs> this other girl just sit around and says, wonder why that sailor keeps looking at me down here. <laughs> and Mary Ellen said, and you can wait. She wasn't <laughs> at me. <laughs> And uh, anyway, <laughs> and I thought when I, when I met her there, and, and I thought, oh no, somebody already got her. She's a, such a pretty girl, pretty girl I saw. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I looked down her hand, there's no rings there, and I said, hey. <laughs> and then next day we had to we had to uh, come back to the store and ask her for a date. And her mother 
She told this story that uh, uh, this, this sailor was, wants to take me on a date, you know, and uh, her mother said, you didn't go on, on that, you never, you knew this new guy. And he said, well, he's a local man, so I don't care. She so said, well, you tell him when he comes out, you can't go. And so, but anyway, I, I came out and uh, <laughs> we, we went to the show. <laughs> <laughs> and the next, the next day I come down and, and uh, had a date with her and uh, gave her a ring. <laughs> and the mother, she was only 17, and her mother was, uh, was kind, of, kind of unhappy because she said, you're not old enough to get married yet, you're still in school. I said, well, you tell him. <laughs> but anyway, we... We, we got married then, and, uh, <laughs> and I got out of the Navy, and, and, uh, and we, uh, all my, all my uh, working days, I worked in dairies, and uh, in fact I worked at uh, eight different dairies in Southern Oregon, mostly over in Medford area, Grand Pass. And uh, all those dairies are are gone. In fact, just about oh, a couple of months ago, the dairy in in uh, in Medford is uh, dairy gone. But when I was a kid, I worked there in that dairy. My dad was the butter maker, and I worked there with him and the butter maker. And all those dairies are all, all gone now, except the cheese factory in Central Point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was, it was, uh, it was butter maker and cheese maker, and all, all the work I did was uh, in with milk in the dairies. And wow. uh, so <laughs> the, the dairy here, the, the, the last dairy I worked at was uh, medical or. Uh, Country made dairy down at Smith River. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I worked there for about 10 or 15 years, something like that. When the <clears throat> and uh, I was going to be 65 in October, and uh, I said, Well, you know, we better, we better retire, I guess. <laughs> when one day at work, and, and the boss said that. Uh, by the way, we're closing the dairy down the first time. <laughs> oh. And so I told uh, <laughs> uh, him, I said, well, maybe I could have got on to some other place, but then when the guy's 65 year old guy, going to hire <laughs> oh, yeah. the time we had. But I, yeah, oh. there's uh, seven, eight different dairy. Uh, Operations that uh, re required a, a license from the from the state, and uh, butter maker and cheese maker and uh, milk and cream tester and grater and, and uh, I had I, I don't know if it's so or not, but I said I was the only only one in the state that had all the licenses. <laughs> That's <great>. uh, <laughs> Yeah, we had, uh, and you probably told you all the uh, uh, big family we have. <laughs> yeah. Now, what are we up to now? Six children and uh, 36 grandchildren. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 96 great grandchildren. <laughs> what? Two <laughs> more Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. They're scattered all over from Alaska to New York. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There'll be more. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it's a you have an amazing family. Yeah. You do. And uh, uh my wife was 
always had pretty good health, but she started having heart trouble. And uh, then uh, it was uh, two of the daughters who were, were taking care of her. And uh, when, when they, she just passed away. And uh, it was really sad. But, uh, Till the end of time Long as stars are in the blue Long as there's a spring of bird to sing I'll go on loving you Till the end of time Long as roses bloom in May, 